Today we're going to talk about why intermittent fasting might not be a good strategy for you and how to approach it in case it's something you want to do to lose body fat. I'm going to start by saying that intermittent fasting is not a magic solution. It does not automatically mean you're going to shed a whole bunch of weight and you're never going to have to worry about it again. Intermittent fasting is a diet strategy or tool that involves time restricted eating windows. So that means you fast for a certain amount of time and you can only eat in a certain amount of time. Whether you do 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating, or 20 hours of fasting and four hours of eating, the amount of hours you're fasting for does not impact your fat loss progress. You could easily overeat your calories in a short window. And if you're overeating your calories, you're no longer in a deficit. If you're no longer in a deficit, you're not losing body fat. Now, some people will go on 24, 36, 48 hour fasts. All the power to you, I don't know how you do it. But that doesn't mean, again, you're gonna automatically lose body fat. Fat isn't gained in a day, fat isn't lost in a day. What matters most in these situations is the amount of calories you're eating across the week. So you could fast for 24 hours, you're a huge deficit. But if for the rest of those six to the seven days, you're overeating, you're not losing body fat. It's very simple. Body fat happens on a week to week and month to month basis. It's trends over time. It's not the daily fluctuations in the scale. So you could fast for 24 hours after a weekend of poor eating. It doesn't mean you're gonna lose all the fat that you think you gained. That's not how it works. The amount of hours does not matter for your fat loss progress. Now, another thing I wanted to touch on is, is this sustainable for you? Is this approach really work for your lifestyle? Something that everyone needs to understand is when you're thinking of doing a diet strategy or a diet or whatever it is, are you uprooting your life to adapt to the diet or are you adapting that diet to your current life? If you're a breakfast lover, intermittent fasting is probably not for you. Unless you get up at 5 a.m. and you don't feel like eating till 8, you can call it intermittent fasting if you want. It doesn't really matter. The terms, they don't really impact your fat loss. Intermittent fasting basically becomes skipping meals, whether it's breakfast or a late night snack because of the time restraint. So if you're cutting out meals, so you're skipping them, you're typically eating less calories. The reason you're losing body fat is because you're eating less calories. You're in a calorie deficit. But one thing to make sure of, if you're going to approach intermittent fasting, make sure you're tracking your calories to know that you are in a deficit because you can't just automatically assume that you're going to lose fat because you're fasting. It doesn't matter the amount of hours, it doesn't matter the window, nothing. The other thing I want to address, if you're someone who has a social life, likes to go out, are you going to get stressed out about your eating windows? If your eating window is 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and you have an event to go to at 9 p.m. and you know there's going to be snacks and drinks there, are you okay with breaking the fast? Are you okay with extending your eating window? Is it worth the stress? These are some things that have to be thought of because they're very important. The more stress you face when you're trying to lose weight, the harder the weight loss is going to be and the more unsustainable the process, the more unsustainable the results. So you could see some results, but you could be straining yourself every day. You could be straining your relationships, your energy levels, your performance at the gym or training. If you can't keep up the lifestyle or the method diet strategy, in this case is intermittent fasting, you're not gonna be able to keep up with the results. They're gonna go back, you're gonna go back to your old habits because you can't keep it up. This is why a lot of extreme measures never work for people long-term. It's a quick fix, band-aid solution, doesn't work, they revert back, back to square one. So when it comes to intermittent fasting, make sure that you're ready to approach it from a healthy perspective. Are you the type of person who likes to eat breakfast? It's not for you. Are you a socialite and you like to stay out late at night, have some snacks? It may not be for you. Just make sure that your calories are in check when you're approaching any diet, any strategy, whether it's intermittent fasting, keto, paleo, doesn't matter. Your calories matter the most. So, I hope this helped. Intermittent fasting is not magic. Calories still matter most, and this might not be a solution for you. It might work for your friend, or your cousin, or your friend's cousin, but it might not be for you, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Find a solution that works to your lifestyle not you have to uproot your whole life to adapt to a diet strategy. Okay, thanks for watching. Like it, share it, comment. Uh, if you have questions, send me in the DMs, send me in the comments. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.